Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a quick little makeup tutorial on how I got this look. Um, I am not a makeup artist by any means. I have never been to makeup school. I have never done a makeup course. I have literally just sat there in the comfort of my own home, on my lounge, on my phone, just watching YouTube tutorials, learning how to apply, you know, certain types of makeup and how to do eyeshadow. Like I never used to wear eyeshadow up until, I don't know, a month, maybe two months ago. And now I just practice that every day. So I make sure that when I wake up or, you know, halfway through the day, like it is right now, it's about two o'clock. Um, I will do my makeup just so I can practice on myself kind of thing. Um, I've practiced on my sister once. I'm gonna, she's going to let me practice on her for a video that's going to be up soon. Um, I think we're going to film that in the next couple of weeks, so that should be exciting. Um, I'm actually very interested in knowing how I'm going to be able to practice on somebody else's face instead of my own because I think it's pretty different. Um, so yeah, let's get into it right now and then I'll talk a little bit more at the end. So first I take my Fenty Beauty Blender. Um, I've showed you guys this beauty blender in a previous video. Um, also, my Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation in the shade Tan, I think, or it was maybe Sand. Yep, it's definitely Sand. Um, I just take that all over my face and just blend it in until I get a beautiful, even coverage. Next I take my Tarte Concealer, um, that is also in the shade Tan, um, I'm just going to put that under my eyes and I just had a little pimple on my chin that day that I just wanted to kind of hide away as you do. Um, I then also just blend that in, also all up over my eyes, just so it uh, conceals all the veins and the light spots over my eyes for when I apply my eyeshadow. I then just take another product from Tarte and that brush, I'm not sure where I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it from Priceline. Um, if I don't get them from Mecca, I often get my brushes from Priceline. Um, it's just some translucent powder just to set that foundation and the concealer that I just applied to my face. I then just take my Kat Von D brush and my Zova contour kit, I think it's called, um, and I just mix both of the brown shades, the contour shades, and I just slightly contour my face where it is needed. As you guys will notice, I'm not actually going to make this contour too dark because at the end I will apply some bronzer um, and I just make it a bit more dark with that bronzer. take the yellow shade of the contour kit and I just sweep it over the highest points of my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose, my forehead, just where I want to look a little bit brighter and also on my brow bone. <music> Then just go over all the points that I just highlighted with the whiter shade just to give it that extra little bit of glow. Next I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with a L'Oreal Brow Expert Pencil I think it's called. Um, I just fill in the gaps, uh, make them a little bit darker so it looks um, natural. I don't like to use too much products because I find then they really do just look like big slugs on your forehead. 
probably should do this step first before drawing them in but I then just take the brush end and I just brush them out to make them look a bit more tidy. Now for my favourite part of doing my makeup, um, I'm just going to use my Huda Desert Dusk palette and I'm going to take the shade Eden and I'm just going to sweep that all over my eyelid um, just as a transition shade. I like this shade, it does look darker than what it goes on in saying that it is still very pigmented um, but I just find that this shade blends really really well with the shades that I'm about to use afterwards. Next I'm just going to take my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use the shade Burnt Orange. Um, I'm just going to take that on the outer corner of my eyelids and just blend that into the crease. blended it in I just take it under my lower line and just join it to where I've blended into the outer corner. I then take the same palette and use the shade Real Bar I think it's called. Um, I just brighten up the outer corners once again and blend back into the crease just to make it a bit warmer. As you can see I've already made a mistake. Um, this has proven to be a little bit harder than what other YouTube tutorials have made it out to be. Um, I'm, I have a really really difficult time with this um, but I'm still learning and every day I just get better and better at it. by Too Faced and I just apply that to my lashes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, if you do have some constructive criticism, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box down below. Also, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Um, you'll, all see, you'll also see a little bell beside the subscribe button so you never miss a video that's um, coming up. I upload every Monday and Thursday for now just until I get into the swing of things and I can edit a little bit fast because for now that's probably what takes the most amount of time when it makes when it comes to making a video. Sorry, I'm a little bit tongue-tied today. Um, but yeah, hopefully next year sometime I'm going to be able to do three videos a day. If that is something that you would like, please also comment in the comment box down below and let me know what kind of content you want coming your way. I'm open to any suggestions that you may have. Um, I do have like probably my next five or six videos already in my head, actually down on a piece of paper because I have a shocking memory. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.